exceedingly afraid and sick with dread. Chosen one, what's up? It's Bella Bashan here. That is the words that I was guided to this morning by the Holy Spirit. Yes, this is a confirmation word about witchcraft attacks and demonic principalities that have been going against you. But like the Israelite people in this story from the book of Numbers, who were conquering, who were conquering um, lands and um, peoples at that time, I guess that's how you say it in the Bible, um, they were making King Balak, Balak, I can't remember how you say that, um, forgive me. He was exceedingly afraid of what the Israelites were going to do because they were taking out all the other lands all around him. So he went to Balaam and he said to Balaam, he, he said, he wanted to curse him. That He said, um, he said, I may drive them out the land and I will, that he whom thou has blessed is blessed and he whom thou has cursed is cursed. So in his mind, he thought he had the power to curse whomever he want. He thought his words were so powerful. He thought he had the power to either bless people or curse people. So he went to um, Balaam, Balaam or whatever you say that. And he said, curse these people. They are, they, they are, they are too mighty for me. Those are the exact words in the Bible. Same with the, um, he, these were the exact words from the Bible. Exceedingly afraid and sick with dread. Your enemies have seen what you're conquering. They know that you're too mighty in Jesus' mighty name because you have the countenance of Jesus on you. And I just felt like I hit the jackpot when the Lord was talking to me about unicorns this morning and um, brought me to this section in Numbers where it mentions unicorns and this whole story about how they tried to get Balaam to, Balaam to curse to curse the people of Israel. And then he said, he said, how shall I curse whom God has not cursed? Or how shall I defy him who the Lord had not defied? He couldn't do it. And, and that was um, from Numbers 23, verse 8. And then this is number 20, Numbers 23, verse 11. It said, and Balak said unto Balaam, what, house, what hast thou done to, unto me? I took thee to curse mine enemies, and behold, thou hast blessed them altogether. So, um, Balak was, uh, he was upset. He was like, what the heck? I hired you to curse these people. So there's someone who has been hired to put a curse on you. And you may have been, um, feeling like some, um, black magic energy the past few days. And it's, it's been probably, it's probably, um, felt, you probably felt it, but it's a lot more minor than what it could be basically because it's not working. It's not working at all. And, um, it's not working at all in the sense that like it might cause you to spill, like knock over your water or you might, uh, maybe maybe you ordered something at a restaurant and you get the wrong thing like little things like that that would are more of irritants whereas somebody is hired to take out your life and it is just not working in Jesus's mighty name in numbers 23 verse 19 it says god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent hath he said and hath he not do it or has he spoken and how and shall he not make it good so god is god is not a man who should lie when you are with god and he says you are protected you are protected when he says you will beat this battle you will beat this battle in verse 22 it says god brought them out of egypt he hath as it were as if were the strength of a unicorn just like in my last video, I mentioned that chosen ones are cute but deadly. You're deadly because you have God on your team in Jesus' mighty name and you have been blessed. 
And so, for that matter, no man can curse you. No man can curse what God has already blessed. God is not a liar. He protects you. And um, I also marked, I, I marked a whole bunch of verses in verse, in um, 23, verse 8, it says, God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath as, as if it were the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations, his enemies, and shall break their bones and pierce them through with arrows. So much, so, so much about the strength of a unicorn. And you guys are brave. You have the strength of a unicorn. And God is protecting you. God has blessed you. And you will be blessed instead of cursed. And and God is going to... I mean, it says break the bones of the enemies and pierce them through with arrows. So, the the own arrows that were shot, I shot at you. I mean, it says right here, um, breaking of bones. So, I don't wish that on anybody. But if somebody's out there trying to put black magic on you to to kill you, then their own arrows um, are headed back at them. So. I hope this message bless you and helps you guys. Hold on, I have a couple more scriptures I want to read to you. In verse 9, it says, He couched, he lay down as a lion, and as a great lion, who shall stir him up? Blessed is he that blessed thee, and cursed is he who cursed thee. So, you are like the lion of Judah. Who shall stir him up? No one can stir you up. You have been blessed. Those who bless you are blessed. Those who curse you are cursed. And that's the way it goes. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys and I'll talk to you again later.